Hey there. When I hear women talk vaguely about their vision and they haven't quite yet pinpointed what it is that they want, I really encourage them to start writing things down. Hi, my name is Teresa Scotland. I am a visionary confidant and coach. And today I want to talk to you about the October word of the day for October 10th. And that word is outline. Now, this is going to sound so boring to some of you. What do you mean outline? I mean just that. Have an outline of what you want from your life. You hear about women who are creating vision boards. They are writing lists. You know, sometimes you think about what you want in a potential partner and you'd say, well, he needs to look like this and he needs to have this type of job and he needs to dress this particular way. That's an outline. Do you have that type of outline for your life? Do you have that type of outline for your finances, for your health, for your skincare, for what you like to do for fun, for your friendships, for your spirituality? Remember that you are a whole woman. So fulfilling your, your, your desires in one area is not going to fulfill you in life. And one of the things that I really encourage women to do is to look at all 12 areas of their life. There are 12 areas that I focus, well, I don't focus on the 12 areas, but there are 12 areas that I highlight in a particular sheet that I go through with every single woman. The very beginning, the first thing that we talk about is these 12 areas of life, and you're going to rate yourself in these 12 areas of life. And what that does is it tells you where you are. You know, when you look at a map and it says you are here, that's your you are here sheet. That's the sheet that's going to tell you, okay, in my finances, this is where I am. In my health, this is where I am. In my relationships, this is where I am. And when you look at it from that holistic point of view, what happens is you are now able to pull out what needs your immediate attention. Because if you are unable to determine what needs your immediate attention, you are going to pay attention to everything all at once. And then you end up feeling depleted. You're feeling burned out. You are not satisfied with life. You are giving your all but you're not satisfied. You can't figure out why. And it could be because you're focusing on the wrong areas. And it all starts with creating an outline. So if you start with this sheet, this life sheet, I call it a life sheet. If you start with this life sheet and you look at these 12 areas of your life, you can then start to create an outline of what you want the rest of your life to look like. It could be your life as a whole. It could be the next month. It could be the next week because some of these things are going to need your immediate attention. Some of them don't. Some of them can wait until next year. Some of them can wait six months. Some of them can wait two months, but others are going to require your immediate attention. But when you don't have that outline, when you don't have that bird's eye view, so to speak, of where your life is headed, what happens is you end up just all over the place. And you know that feeling when you feel like I was saying, like you give your all, you're giving everything and you're like, why is this not working? And then you start to feel like you're not enough or you're not giving enough or you need to do more. And then you're frustrated with yourself because there is no more there. Stop, breathe, take a minute and create an outline create an outline. And I'm not saying make a plan. We're not even making a plan yet. Create an outline of where you are. Create an outline of how you're feeling. Because one of the things that I also encourage women to do as they're rating these 12 areas on a scale of one to 10, as you're rating these 12 areas, what you're actually going to do is rate not only your satisfaction, but also rate your effort. Because sometimes we ignore the obvious right? The reason why you may not be happy in the area of your health or in the area of, you know, how your body looks, your body image, it could be that you're not paying attention to yourself, that you're not taking care of yourself. You're not eating right. You're not exercising. And therefore you don't look and feel your best. That's an easy fix, right? So we then know, 
okay, fitness needs to be a focus and I need to take immediate action. And it doesn't matter what your budget level is. It doesn't matter what your time level is. There is always some action that you can take towards your intended goal. So start creating an outline. The sheet is in the description box. It's going to be the first link that you'll see. You can go ahead, download that sheet. Don't just look at it and think about it. Actually download it, download it, print it out and write on it. Write what, rate your satisfaction level and also rate your level of effort. You could use two different colors of ink if you want to do that, just to make it easier for you to follow and use that as your guideline to start moving forward. This is a very simple thing that you can do today that's going to start you on your journey towards a better life. You are worth the effort. You are worth the short amount of time that it's going to take to start outlining the type of life that you want to live. And so you can create the type of life that you want to wake up to every single day. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.